episode of my online talk show sounds good the content of this episode is drafted with a special focus on awareness of textile engineering and will help the youth to understand how they can have a rewarding career in the field of textiles this episode will highlight the career opportunities available to the youth after the completion of textile engineering studies their enrollment process and the eligibility for me personally having worked as an assistant professor in the discipline of textile engineering for almost 5 years it greatly interests me to bring awareness among the youth about the textile engineering studies and i feel really great when i'm doing this episode today i will be sharing this screen with three very special people my very special friends Neeraj Kumar, Nikhil Pandey and Aman Prit Kaur who will be sharing their experience of having studied the textile engineering course and their journey to let the youth know that there is a lot of areas of exploration that needs to be exposed. So putting an end to the curiosity please welcome Neeraj, Nikhil and Aman Prit Kaur. Hi everyone how are you? Hello, Hello Amit. Hello Amit. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh first of all, I'll give a brief background about you all to my viewers. Uh the bottom left is Nikhil Pandey, beside him is Neeraj Kumar, top left is Amanpreet Kaur, and then of course me. Uh Nikhil Pandey, he is currently working as a a uh, service engineer in Volta's machinery division in Panipat he has been working as an erector for the lakshmi machine works uh, for around 6 years now this is neeraj kumar uh, he has experience of working in oswal denim limited for around 3 years in the denim department after working there he started uh, working in santesh plant of arvind textiles limited and worked there as uh, as a production engineer in shirting department and then finally amanpreet kaur she holds experience of working in the quality assurance department in venus garments limited ludhiana i'm so glad to all of you and really grateful and thankful to all of you that you all agreed to be a part of my show despite your busy timeline and difference in the time zone you all agreed to be a part of this show i'm really really thankful to you all thank you so much thank you mate thank for calling us in your show and, and uh, i i would i would say that this show would be incomplete if uh, if i do not express my excitement that i just can't believe that uh, i am able to have all of you on the same screen with me after like completing our education together in 2014 it it seems nearly impossible you know to connect to people after a long time so i'm really grateful that you all um, you all have been here and we are able to share the same screen and share our experiences to our viewers i'm quite sure that this uh, this experience and this journey will help the potential uh, viewers to understand uh, the the textile engineering its scope its opportunities and i'm sure that it will help them in a the long run so yeah. i'll i'll start with asking some of the questions from you all that will help the viewers to understand uh the the students especially <clears throat> who are uh, engineering aspirants and they can uh, figure out if they have their interest in textile engineering how they can enroll for the textile engineering courses and their career opportunities their uh, study timeline uh, 
I'm sure that uh, by the end of this show, they will be able to make a wise decision about their career. So uh, first question uh, goes to Nick uh, Neeraj. Uh, Neeraj, how are you feeling for being a part of my show? <clears throat> Thank you, Amit, for calling us on your show. And uh, I'm very um, thankful to you that you have started a show in which you're helping the people uh, who are having uh, some questions, some queries, some doubts regarding uh, latest uh, challenges in their daily life. Uh, so thank you for us for uh, to being a part of your show. Thank you very much. So welcome. I'm so glad you are here, Neeraj. My second question goes to Nikhil. Uh, Nikhil, could you please elaborate to the audience about the enrollment process for the textile engineering course, please? They can enroll by after they are uh, 10 plus 2 by uh, giving the IIT men's exam and getting the, their ranks and after their ranking they can enroll in different types uh, as per the reason they can enroll in different uh, streams of textiles also there is there is textile technology textile design fabric design man-made fiber technology textile chemistry and one more one two more branches are there might be I'm skipping so based on their uh, marks in IIT men's and based on their reason they can enroll in uh, different zones. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you for sharing this, Nikhil. Uh, so for my viewers, uh, they can enroll in the textile engineering graduation course, uh, BTEC in textile engineering, if they have done 10 plus two with science stream, either medical or uh, non-medical. Uh, preferably, I think for engineer, the non-medical people go for the engineering course, then uh, they can look for the uh, counseling schedule uh, posted by different colleges and universities, and you can opt for textile engineering course that has various sub branches as uh, mentioned by Nikhil. Uh, I want to continue this question from Aman Preet. To see Dasak Dioki Agar students ne 10 plus 2 ne kiti o diploma de through we textile engineering course to admission lasak de a eki da work of the diploma de through ana. Okay, diploma to bar to see lead through entry karsak de o literal entry to no ki aga us de which. Second year, they which direct admission on the other day, that is third semester to start on the first year to the basic or to the Katia's on the third to start okay, third fifth to the continue on the okay. So, what on the body field change, the ES team body change, and here got to see computer science diploma gitaja electronics, his every stream to get that to see Kodam. किसे whole stream to change कर दियो तो अनु starting which is difficult लग रहा है सारे subjects change हो जान दे या सारा कुछ तो अंदर change हो जान दे so फिर holy holy ज़्यादा तो सी अगे interest बनन लग रहा है क्या फिर तो अंदर continue हो गया okay that's great that's a that's a wonderful thing you have shared Aman I I really appreciate this कि तो सी इस point नू भी अगे रखा कि जो off textile diplomas आन दे like computer science तो या electronics तो ता obviously वो एक uh, extreme transition to guzar de kyunki oh pehla ek different study uh, go through karke aaye hunde and then jadon tusi textile de vich seedha second year de vich jump kar de ho literal entry de through that makes a little difficult for you in the beginning but as she said ki if you are really interested in pursuing that education agar tusi apna interest in nal usnu continue kar de ho then uh, you you really get well along with it and I yeah. want to also uh, tell my viewers that when you see graduation complete kar ho, textile de, which even if you are off, um, off textile diploma, ta, it doesn't make any difference when you apply for jobs. You are as much eligible uh, to apply for textile engineering jobs as much are all other textile graduates. So that's a great thing. And... Uh, Normally, dyeing, printing, knitting, fashion designing, koi bhi branches wale in textile ya off textile koi bhi branches wale students uh, textile graduation, the which admission le sakte hai. That's great. 
So uh, next question is uh, Neeraj, uh, can you please tell the viewers that there are colleges kede kede available in textile Delhi? Like, uh, can you give an idea about that, please? Okay. Um, uh, so the admission in textile is a bit be uh, easier uh, if you compare with the other streams of engineering uh, because the, the uh, uh, field that textile engineering branch, many of us uh, don't know in the starting of our engineering courses. So uh, the engineer uh, to take the admission in the engineering uh, sec uh, branch like textile engineering is bit e a bit easier than other uh, branches of engineering. Uh, so there are many colleges like if we talk about in Punjab area. So Punjab area there is a, a Amritsar University also, and apart from this there is a Maharaja Ranjit Singh Technical University. Uh, which was uh, uh, before it was named as a Gani Jal Singh College, uh, uh, from where we all have uh, graduated in textile engineering field. Uh, and uh, there are many other colleges also which are quite famous in India, uh, uh, which are uh, private colleges like in Panipat uh, Institute uh, of Engineering and Technology, Pite College, and TIT in um, uh, Bhivani. And after that, uh, in the southern uh, part of India, also there are many colleges and universities uh, which are offering the courses on textile engineering. Uh, so taking admission is textile is not uh, very much hard as uh, in the computer science or mechanical engineering. But I would say that uh, in nowadays, uh, the jobs are available in textile engineering uh, because the main thing is that after uh, being a graduate, you need a job. Uh, so uh, it's quite easy to get a job in a textile engineering. Uh, um, even though the salary is uh, very uh, very less as compared to other branches, uh, but you will get a start. You will get a kick start uh, from uh, from getting a job. And after that, if you are a lucky person, if you are hardworking, if you have knowledge. Uh, so all in all, in textile engineering, it uh, depends upon experience and knowledge. If we have that capability of experience and knowledge, uh, you can uh, you can reach to up to the level of a manager or a branch head, or even you can open your own textile uh, sector, uh, in which government also help you uh, to give you aid and uh, providing all kind of sports to open uh, your own textile uh, market. So I think that uh, from uh, other branches. Uh, tech, uh, in getting job in textile engineering is quite easy. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. So there are there are actually limited number of colleges available for textile engineering. Um, like especially the one I would definitely talk about is Ganizal Singh College of Engineering and Technology, Batinda, where we all are, uh, you, where we all were together. You know, the alma mater to us. Um, that they are offering a great, great study in textile engineering course, very dedicated faculty, educated staff. And then apart from that, NIT Jalandhar, they are offering graduation, master's and PhD courses. Even our college is now offering uh, master's full-time and PhD courses. So people can uh, enroll for the graduation, master's and PhD courses in these colleges. And apart from the uh, Punjab area, there are other, uh, other colleges in, in um, off Punjab area. So depending upon the region, the viewer is uh, watching this video, they can look for the colleges and uh, select the best one that works for you. Okay, the next question is Aman Preet Kaur uh, so please elaborate kar sakte ho, viewers no key career opportunities available on the textile uh, graduates they leave. Jada upa textile the final year the which unne hai, jada upa textile the degree kar rahe unne hai. Us to baad ki unda to day seventh, eighth semester the which kiya to day college wale uh, companies no plan de hai, college the which students hire karan li, unda to day uh, campus placement. Jedi ki hai, TOP ki hai, decide kar diya ki kedi companies aani hiya, uh, kinne students to ki hai ki hai placement lai jani hiya. Thik hai, phir us to baad ki hundi hai off campus placement. Jedi ki hai tu si direct company de vich tu si vacancy uh, search kar ke tu si direct ja sa de ho, appointment lai ke ja interview schedule kar lai ne ho. 
ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸੀਨੀਅਰਸ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕਲੀਗਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਆ ਵੈਕੈਂਸੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਓ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਦਿਓ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਸਿਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ that's great that that's really a good uh, idea that you have given to the viewers cherry so uh, amen uh, thank you so much that they they have uh, campus placement options then off campus placement uh, options and obviously if you have your seniors you have good contact with your seniors ta oh we can help kar sakde hai apni company de vich hire hon layi so jo students de liye ek bahut important cheez hai ki jinna tusi apna networking increase karde ho jinna tusi apna circle increase karde ho apni graduation de time te that helps you a lot uh, in having a rewarding career uh, sirf textile de vich nahi anywhere in any field if you have a good networking it it will uh, help you in the long run uh so i want to continue this question from nikhil as well uh nikhil to see kuch aur um career opportunities share kar sakte ho like i know you are well versed in voltas as an erection uh in in erection line as a service engineer and i believe in fact i strongly believe ki bahut sare janyan nu inna is field bare knowledge nahi hundi ya pata nahi hunda that after completing graduation in textiles they can start working in voltas or oh kidda work kar sakde hai lakshmi machine works te naal jidda tusi ohna di erection de vich kam kar rahe ho eh tusi ede bare kuch viewers nu dass sakde ho please apart from uh, our basic engineering in terms of uh, graduation only we developed a perceptions or we can develop a interest in particular area whether it is designing whether it is uh, technology whether it is machinery every student have their choices um, based on that we can offer different field whether it is spinning whether it is weaving dyeing printing knitting then they have textile machinery there is a very long opportunities in textile machinery as well again we have different type of garment house where we can go for mar- uh, merchandising and all there is uh, actually in our colleges we if you are saying in many of the colleges they are focusing on the spinning base more because of in india the scope of spinning is bit more but if we see a different uh, parts of uh, engineering then we have good uh, scope in yarn sourcing marketing of uh, textile machinery accessories and uh, there is a very good scope in garment house also so it is uh, apart from uh, opting the field of textile engineering you have to see what area of interest you have uh, where, whether you can excel while working in in area apart from that if, if when uh, somebody has a background means background if he has a good economical background he can offer their own industries also because uh, textile is a place where you can with short term investment uh, you can build a good uh, uh, industry you can provide a good uh, 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 persons uh, job as well and even if you can uh, um go for uh, different type of that is you can do marketing as well you can op- put a garment house of your own you can do, put a knitting house of your own and uh, that is also a big scope in that of course thank you so much uh, nikhil for sharing you know uh, it 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 will really help the the students to understand that uh, there there is a wide horizon that that they can you know explore and it's really a gray area which they do not really know or they wouldn't really come to know when they are studying even in college if no one will really explain them because i see that uh, personally most of the students will be um, we will be stuck in the spinning weaving uh, or printing or dyeing line because that is most of the companies that they will see across them or during their training but they have to they have to come out of the box and they can see that they can themselves become an entrepreneur they can set their own uh, small scale knitting mills small scale printing mills or 
uh, they can go for marketing or uh, sourcing lines and obviously the machine accessory uh, making or uh, supplying so that that's really a wonderful thing and i'm sure that uh, the students who are watching this video they will uh, definitely research about it and they will be able to figure out their interest and here i would also like to mention my viewers that uh, in my in my career there i have seen that uh, some of my students in in the last uh, two batches uh, especially those who are from the from the you know uh, textile hub uh, cities like from ludhiana uh, i have seen themselves doing uh, entrepreneurship like opening their own uh, small scale knitting mills in ludhiana and then they sometimes contact me and they ask me that can i make them uh, some contacts with some companies uh, in canada if they if i can help them in you know exporting their products to canada or if i can help them ha having some orders for their small uh, scale industries so uh, the the sky is the limit you know so once you are a textile graduate there there is no limit to how many career opportunities you have it's uh, it it solely depends on how much you research and how much uh, you are able to find uh, that's a great thing uh so uh, neeraj i want to ask you the next question uh to see in textile the graduation to baad higher studies de bare bhi kuch uh, viewers nu dass sakde ho how they can go for higher studies ki options available hai and the career opportunities if they go for higher study well ki mai higher studies de gal kar raha hu textile uh, engineering de vich i think graduation is uh, a quite reputable stage in which you can get a good uh, job in the market field like in textile sector but if you want to pursue the uh, masters or in higher education in textiles uh, so you must have interest in research field yeah ta jo kyunki textile engineering karan to baad je tusi higher level te study karna chahnde ho like phd and masters so toda research de vich interest hona chahiye आर एन डी अच्छी पकड़ होनी चाहिए है तो अच्छी नॉलेज होनी चाहिए है डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस दी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्पिनिंग टू गारमेंटिंग सो इस फील्ड के बच्चों जाने तो पहला मैं यही जरूर कन्वे करना चाहूँगा कि तुम पहला रिसर्च करो तुम एक या दो साल की जॉब करो इंडस्ट्रीअल जॉब इंडस्ट्रीअल जॉब करने तो बाद जो असी बुक्स के पढ़ते हैं या जो असं लैक्चर अटेंड करते हैं रियलिटी के कुछ अलग सू देख सीख मिलता है उपनीस के कुछ कंसैप्ट जि होंगे जेडे सू थ्रू आउट द डिग्री क्लीयर नहीं होंगे बट वैन वैन वी जस्ट एंटर इन द सैक्टर इन द टैक्सटाइल मिल आप जो ओनू प्रैक्टिकली देखते हैं तो अपन कंसैप्ट उदू क्लीयर हो जाए सो so, uh, अगर परसन कोई एम एम एस सी करना चाहता है इन टैक्सटाइल फील्ड और एम uh, टैक करना चाहता है पी एच डी करना चाहता है तो उन्होंने इंडस्ट्रीअल नॉलेज जरूर होनी चाहिए है इट विल हेल्प इन दे रिसर्च फील्ड ऑल्सो और uh, सिर्फ सिर्फ हायर एजुकेशन के लिए नहीं परसन कुछ न्यू प्रोडक्ट भी डेवलप करना चाहिए कोई नवी चीज भी डिफाइन करनी चाहिए है कोई नवी चीज रिसर्च करनी चाहिए है डिस्कवर करनी चाहिए है क्योंकि इंडिया के परसन काफी है जेडे टैक्सटाइल फील्ड काम कर रहे हैं पर न्यू डेवलपमेंट के उपर कोई ज्यादा वर्क नहीं हो रहा जे आप कंपेयर करिए जर्मनी यू एस ए कैनेडा द समोल कंट्री लाइक ऑस्ट्रिया जो कि दुनिया की सब तो हाई टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रिंटिंग मशीन बना है उसके टैक्सटाइल रिलेटेड मशीन बना है अ समोल कंट्री लाइक ऑस्ट्रिया जो कि आई थिंक कि इंडिया के एक स्टेट नो भी छोटी है सो so, सू इंडिया के आर एन डी रिसर्च फील्ड के उपर बहुत काम करने की लड़ है क्योंकि मतलब इस फील्ड पिछे असी ज्यादा फोकस नहीं रखते गौरमेंट ने कुछ स्टैप हूँ अगे चुके हैं जिम्मे राजस्थान गुजरात मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र इन्होंने गवर्नमेंट ने कुछ एड जी है वो फाइनलाइज की है सैवरल थाउजेंड करोड़ टू प्रमोट द आर एन डी डिपार्टमेंट इन टैक्सटाइल सैक्टर सो दैट विल ऑलसो हेल्प द दिस सैक्टर टू बूस्ट इन इंडिया ओके या that's wonderful that's great yeah 
so they can go for the masters in textile engineering then they can obviously go for the teaching line otherwise i have recently seen that uh, in some like good industries they are they are mandating the the masters in textiles for the r and d uh, jobs so yeah all in all it's all about upgradation you know so as much you can upgrade yourself with higher study uh you can you know achieve uh, more in your uh, field but as far as for the entry level job in any industry just graduation is sufficient that's a great thing so uh now we'll go a little easy my friends uh i want to ask you if you want to share any of your funny incident during your college time lifetime or your you know industrial job like when you go first time in the industry you experience something ya to to se apni college di ya kuch bhi viewers de naal kuch share karo apna koi funny incident ki bahut knowledge de layi hun kuch funny dasso na no nikhil go for it uh it is fourth Abhi semester ka? Neeraj has. Uh, I am making notes. All the notes in one single uh, notebook of every subject. And what happens? I have given it to Neeraj to keep it in my room. I have to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. He just misplaces that notes. And after that, I am. I have asked with him that where is my notes. He told me that uh, I have forgot somewhere. <laughs> I told him that it is. It is my complete notes of each and every subject. Only one notebook. Then he is telling यार क्या करेगा उसका कॉपी तो भर गई थी। Are you serious? Serious? तो भरी। ता इन्हें सारे नोट्स वो दे विच बना रखे थी के ते ते भरी सेड कि कहा मेरी कॉपी तो मेरी कॉपी मैंने कहा क्या करेगा कॉपी का भर तो गई थी वो कॉपी। और तो इस तो पूर्ण नोट। How funny! What a logic! So illogical. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, I know he is so forgetful. I also remember. एक बार ने मेरी कोई practical file सी गई एवे कॉल, and I gave him my practical file to complete his own. तो एने ना वो practical file पता नहीं किन्हों देती. तो एवे ने ask him मेरी practical file किथे है? एनु याद ही नहीं केंदा कि केंदा ऐसे ना कोई खड़ा सी गा मैं ओनों दिती सी गी. ओ ओ सदारा सी. पता नहीं दिलजीत सी पता नहीं साहिल सी और तीनों तो कोई एक सी नहीं वो ना जो भी सी वो होस्टलर सी आई वाज लाइक आर यू सीरियस वो ना जो भी सी बस वो होस्टलर सी एक अच्छा देन ही वुड ही वुड ट्राई टू रिमेम्बर इट एंड यू नो हाउ ही विल रिएक्ट ही विल ट्राई टू एक मिनट मेरे याद करने दे youth no ya students no jo pursue karna chahunde hai engineering te koi special interest rakh de textile engineering de which do you want to give any message to the students ha bas first of all ki tusi jadon bhi textile engineering choose karde ho ta make sure ki tonu ede vich hard work bahut karni paugi and second thing is that tode marks nalo jyada important ede vich todi knowledge matter karti hai tonu knowledge practical knowledge jyada manage karti hai that in the bookish knowledge बुकिश नॉलेज सिर्फ कोले तक काम आती है उस तो बात उन्हें प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज ये डे है वो दे ऊपर ही तो उन्हें जज की तैयारी है तो उसी वर्क किन्ना कर दियो किन्ना एफिशिएंटली वर्क कर दियो तो उसी वर्कर्स नाल तो उसी मशीन्स नाल तो उस नाल किन्ना डील कर सकते हो एफिशिएंटली और दे तो उन्हें � Of course, yeah. that's great. So the practical knowledge yeah. in your industry, which on a long term, they will help you. So when you when you you know opt for any engineering, make sure that you have real interest in pursuing that. So thank you so much, everyone. This is the end of my question session. 
ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਈ ਗੇਮ ਖੇਲਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਹੋਣ ਤੱਕ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਪਲੇ ਅ ਗੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਵਰ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਦਿਸ ਗੇਮ ਇਜ਼ a uh, rapid fire i'll say a word and you have to say any word that comes in your mind immediately okay so we'll go from neeraj nikhil aman neeraj nikhil aman and so on okay neeraj fun uh, sleeping study boring work <laughs> all day <laughs> neeraj night outs with family really where dinner <laughs> nikhil friends all time cherry food food foodi <laughs> foodi all the time <laughs> neeraj cooking i um, best part of life best part of life really bhabhi batayenge <laughs> that means your wife is <laughs> not cooking a lot that carrying your best part actually i love like eating it. that's why i love cooking also okay oh. yeah <laughs> nice sounds good okay keep saying sounds good in your life okay that promotes my show nikhil school time very enjoying great that's true college time cherry memories true yeah actually i have more memories in college than i have in school you know the college mates are you know uh, uh, long term friends so thank you so much everyone this is the end of my episode i'm so thankful to you once again that despite the busy timeline and the time difference i can still see the time in india is 11:20 in the night and i kept you guys awake in it's morning in my time so i'm so thankful to you that despite the difference in the time zone you guys took out the time to be a part of my show i'm quite sure that your valuable experience your knowledge is going to help the potential engineering aspirants the new students to make a wise decision about their career thank you so much for being a part of my show thank you so much Thank you. These were my friends Nikhil Neeraj and Aman Preet Kaur. I'm so thankful to them that despite their busy timeline they agreed to be a part of my show and they have shared really valuable insights of textile engineering field and I'm sure that it will really help the potential aspirants who are planning to choose engineering as their career. Thank you so much everyone for watching this episode. Please do let me know in the comment section how you liked this episode. I will definitely get back to your comments. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Stay tuned there is a lot to come and yes if you want to be the next on this show please apply with the Google form link given in the description. This show awaits you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.